Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. I love my Christmas display of dolls. That's all. That's the video. I'm just kidding. So, I am going to California this Saturday, December 3rd, and I'm bringing a doll with me. And I'm sure by the thumbnail, you know that, and you know which doll it is. But I'm going to be, like, packing my doll stuff. I'm not going to bring a whole lot, but, like, just the necessities, I guess. This is my first time as an adult traveling, like, more publicly with a doll. Like, I obviously drove across the country with dolls, but that's not, like, as public. So this is my first time flying with a doll, I guess. I'm excited. I'm just excited to have a lot with me. And to take really cool pictures, like, throughout the traveling and when we are in California. So I have to take her out of my display and I'm so sad. It looks so cute. So we're lowering the camera down a little bit because we are going to get her ready to travel. So for like her luggage, I guess, I have an American Girl suitcase. I got this as a kid. The little tag on it says Mia. It says Mia, Grace, and Josefina, which those were my three original dolls. But super cute suitcase. I love this suitcase. The only downside of it is it's really not that big. Like once you open it up, like it's decent enough, but it's not as deep as you think it would be. But either way, it's super cute. I put Paris and New York stickers on it as a kid because I have been to New York, but I have not gone to Paris, but Paris is like on my bucket list of places to go. And she needs a backpack because like, I always carry a backpack with me when I fly because it's so much easier than a suitcase, but she has a suitcase too. But I actually don't have a lot of American Girl backpacks. Like I have realized when I was thinking of backpacks that I have, I have this one. And I'm pretty sure that's it. This is Mia's backpack. That's like how I used it as a kid. And there's a bunch of stuff in here, so I have to take it all out. Also, I was obsessed with Teen Beach Movie when I was younger, and there's the Teen Beach Movie surfboard. So now let's get to packing. We would have to undress her because she can't wear that on an airplane. She could, but me personally, I don't dress fancy for plane rides. I wear pajamas basically because planes are uncomfortable. So honestly, I really don't need to pack that much stuff for her because I don't plan on like taking a bunch of pictures. It's a pretty mellow trip. We just have family there and we're just going to visit. I'm either going to bring just the pair of shoes on her feet or a second pair, just like for fun. I'm not really sure yet. It depends on how much room we have for clothes. I'm just going to bring pieces that can be mixed and match. So like some simple pieces. I'm definitely bringing my overalls for the Earth Day outfit. Not bringing the Birkenstocks though, because I don't want to lose them. My biggest fear now, the overalls are so cute. I don't know. Okay, let's get to picking out what she's gonna bring and wear. So let me show you guys the outfits I have planned so far. So for sure bringing this, it's this the Earth Day overalls and then this cute striped shirt. It's like very natural, neutral. And I felt like it needed a long sleeve under it to be appropriate for the weather. This. I like these shorts and I like this shirt and I never get to use these shorts because I got them at the tail end of summer. But like this with Converse and then I'm bringing this Pleasant Company zip up as well. And I was also thinking on bringing these cargo pants, but now I'm not so sure. Where is my bucket hat? I need to bring my bucket hat. And then she'll have her plain outfit as well. I'm going to have her wear the tie-dye shirt from the Earthy outfit. Thinking of these pants, I don't know though. I have to actually like put it on her. Okay, I very quickly changed my mind about those pants. I think I'm gonna settle with this. I don't love it, but realistically, it's probably not that big of a deal because she's gonna be wearing it for like the plane ride and that's it. And she's not gonna be seen most of the time anyways. It's just very comfy. And then I think I am just going to do the Converse, but I'm not sure. Let's start packing her bags and then we'll see. Let's 
somehow I fit all of those clothes into the suitcase. So that is pretty cool. So I have the whole backpack for stuff. I put her Converse in here. The two bandanas will also go in here and her pair of socks. This still has some extra room in it, so the bucket hat will fit in there, which is good. I just put her hair in a half up, half down style, just so it's out of her face. And I don't want all of it up. I don't know why. I just wanted it half up, half down. And I think it looks really cute. And it's just gonna be easy to like put her in my bag. This bag is going to be my carry-on bag because I put everything in a big suitcase that I need for like actually being out there. And this bag will store a lot if you fit it in there. So I will be putting her suitcase and her backpack in there as well. And then I'm for sure bringing a doll hairbrush because I need that. Should probably bring hair elastics too if I can find them. And then the rest of everything in here will be my stuff, just like plain stuff. I'm going to bring stuff to crochet. And yeah, so that's everything I'm bringing with me for Alette on our little plane ride. I'm excited. And the next time I talk to you guys, I will probably be at the airport. So we will see you then. So here I am for the first time at the airport. Yes, the first time. This trip kind of took a turn for the worst, if I'm being honest. We made it through TSA. I was taking some doll pictures, waiting for the plane to get here and get going. And then we found out our plane was delayed an hour, so we would miss our connecting flight. So we had to go back home and then go back the next day. So I got everything packed again. I got a super comfy outfit because we were flying out at 6 and weren't landing in California until almost 1 in the morning. And that is 4 in the morning Michigan time. So here we are at the airport yet again. Not to mention, the day before, on December 3rd, my throat started to hurt. I thought it was nothing, but I ended up getting sick. That didn't stop me from enjoying the most of the time I had, though. We flew out when it got dark, so I got to take some cute little pictures of the sun going down of Alette at the airport. They looked really cute. I really enjoyed having her. It was, like, comforting, and I felt like a hot girl at the airport. Like, Alette made me be a hot girl. Definitely recommend flying with your doll. Flying at night is a cool experience. I usually only get to experience about an hour of it when we fly from our connecting flight back home, but flying over Chicago when it was so dark out and seeing all the lights was really, really pretty. Like, look at this view. You could see the Sears Tower. I could literally see the water tower place. It was so cool to fly over Chicago at night just because it's so different than flying over it during the day. We got to our stop in Chicago, pretty Christmas decorations, and then we were finally on our way to California. This was, I think, a three and a half hour flight, maybe. Here's my mom. She did not want to be in the video, but I'm putting her in it anyways. So yeah, here's some more nightlife of flying. I didn't record much when we first got to California because we landed late, but I went to once upon a child and I found a pleasant company Samantha doll for $20 so she 100% came home with me for some reason I only go to once upon a child when I'm in California never when I'm actually home then I went to Walmart and picked up a magic eraser so I could clean her up this is a few days later when I was taking some doll photos like I said I didn't film much but I did take some pretty little pictures of my dolls it was a lot of fun it was fun hauling them around and taking pictures. I did have to tighten Samantha's legs though because they were quite loose. <laughs> Then I took a day to myself and walked around town. I was in this really cool kind of like antique consignment shop. I didn't bring my dolls with me, but I did just want to include some footage because this store is absolutely massive. I only bought some stickers, but it's always just fun to look around and see what they have. Uh, Dominic and I went here when he flew out to see me to drive me home and I wanted to go back there because I only went out here once when I lived out in California. So I wanted to check it out. Then I took Alette to the beach, so beautiful. I love this view of the ocean. I took some really cute pictures of her, took her on the pier. Here's all the pigeons on the pier. There are always so many. 
this is just such an incredible view from this pier. I love seeing the town. I don't remember if I show it. Yeah, I do. Look at this. This is straight out of a movie with all the palm trees, all the beautiful buildings. It's just so, so beautiful. I love palm trees. Palm trees are one of my favorite things ever. And just here's me in a lit. And just like that, we are back at the airport flying home. It was only a four day trip. It was so short, it went by so quick, but it was so much fun. Our plane was delayed an hour when we were flying out of California because it was too heavy and they had to take a bunch of mail out of the back of the plane, which I did not know was a thing. Flying over California is also just really beautiful. Right here, you can see the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, which is right next to the San Diego airport. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. And we get to fly over the ocean for a quick minute, which always gives me a little bit of anxiety because I had a dream once where the plane crashed into the ocean. Not that I need to share that and give you guys the same nightmares I had, but <laughs> I guess I just wanted to share it. This is my first time flying since driving across the country, so it is kind of a weird concept to fly over all these states that I have drove through, which I think is really cool, and I'm really glad that I was able to drive across the country. And now we're back in Michigan! So that was the whole trip. It was really short. It was really short and sweet, but I did have a lot of fun. I don't have any negative experiences about flying with my dolls. I did get one weird look from an old man when I was taking pictures of my dolls at the airport. I'm pretty sure he took a picture of me. Like he very subtly like held up his phone and was like looking at me while I was doing it, but I was like, whatever. I don't know you, you can judge me, I don't care. There are people that do this, so. I know this video was just kind of short, but I did want to do a little bit of a travel vlog just because this is my first time flying with the doll. It was a lot of fun though. Um, I felt very comfortable having her. I always kind of feel out of place at the airport because there's like, I always feel like there's like so many glamorous people at the airport. And that's just not me when I fly, but like having my doll with me just made me feel a lot more comfortable. And I really enjoyed it. Um, she did get a shine mark on her forehead though. I don't know how that happened, but it did. I hope this video was helpful for those of you who want to fly with your doll but are a little bit nervous about it and have some anxieties towards it. Like I said, I feel a lot more comfortable with my dolls around strangers because I don't know them and if they judge me, I will never know and I will never hear about it. Again, that might not be something that everybody feels, but that is what I feel and I think it's... I feel like it's comforting, I don't know. At the end of this video, I will put some pictures I took while I was out in California because I did take some really pretty ones and I'm really happy with how they turned out and I don't know, I loved it. I had a really fun time. I wish it was longer. Like I said, I did get sick. We were going to stay an extra day, but since I was sick, we just went home. Hopefully I'll be going out there again in a few months because I love California. It will always hold a special place in my heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.